Hi everybody, it's Sam of Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is the last of my Valentine series. Only five projects. Um, I don't have a desire or a need to have tons of Valentine's things, so um, I've just done what I need. Um, but I've also got the five from last year as well. So there's ten lovely projects for you to look at and hopefully get some inspiration from and make. So this is the last one and this is a really, really cute little acetate box, um, explosion box with a nice little lid there. It's a reinforced lid and it just opens up and then this all opens up here and revealing these Hershey Kisses. Now I actually wanted the silver ones um, but they're out of stock so once they come in, because I think they're just the plain chocolate ones, these are white chocolate Oreos. That one's open actually and they're delicious. I've been eating these. There's usually a lot more. Anyway, this is what it is. So it's an acetate explosion um, box. So um, there's no sticking with the base, um, it's just one piece. Um, I did cut these bits but I'm not going to cut them on the next one because I actually prefer it without. But it just all comes together like so and then your lid just sits on top. So it's probably hard to really pick up but you can see, obviously you can see there underneath it, it's all see through. It just gives it just a different take on a box so I thought it was really nice and I just love the finish there on top with that lovely love. So I'm using um, obviously acetate so the sheets I'm using are Crafters Companion and they're available in the US and in the UK um, so I'll share all the links to those it's really nice acetate to use and then everything else you're going to need is here so um, the papers I'm using as I've been using mostly through the week are these uh, Dove Crafts XOXO papers from last year um, but as I've mentioned before, I'll share the links to their current um, paper pack and from that I'm using these kisses here. So you need eight pieces because you want to do double. So you've got, obviously they're all stuck on the outside, but because it's acetate you can seal the sticky tape from the inside. So when you open it, you stick them also on this side here so it also looks nice. And I did think it would look good as well to do a heart on the bottom. So maybe you could put this heart here and also have it on the bottom or a sentiment, something that they would see once they've eaten or if, if it is sweets that you're going to put in there. So I thought that was quite a nice idea um, for you to do. So you'll need eight pieces and these measure at two and a quarter by two and three quarters. Okay, so eight pieces. Then I've got um, my lid so it just matches brought out the red this time and this measures five and one eighth of an inch squared okay so just one piece of that the dies I've used um, for this here and I've used in a couple of projects this week is this one here it's from this nest of dies now I can't find it anywhere and I've had it a while but I'm pretty sure it is there's one more that should be in there as well um, it's an X cut um, nest of hearts Anybody out there has this, please let me know if I'm right or wrong because I can't find it anywhere online. And I always like to try and share the links and this one I just cannot find for the life of me. So if anybody has seen it, you're always really good and you let me know, um, it would be great if you could tell me that one. So I've just die cut that heart and then I've die cut this is a ne is not a nest, sorry, it's um, live, laugh, love and wish, I believe, and it's by Sizzix. And again, I'll share those links. And I've just die cut it four times this time, mounted it on top of each other, and it's formed this really nice sentiment. And that's going to go through the heart like so. And then I've got these little, that I've used these little heart encrusted um, embellishments, um, jewel encrusted hearts that I'm going to stick on that one there. Okay, so that's those bits. I've got some foam to stick my heart down and double sided tape. Then the acetate, so the main bit of the box. So you can see it here. I've already scored it so that you could see it because when it's not scored, it's flat and you just, it's not good for filming. So this is a piece of eight by eight. And what you want to do is score it two and a half on all four sides. Okay, so two and a half, rotate. And you really want to, you know, really put some pressure into it, really ingrain that score line. Um, because acetate is harder to burnish because once you open it up again it kind of then becomes it stays open until you burnish it again so you do need to really work it so two and a half on all four sides get rid of your scoreboard keep your stylus and then what you want to do let me just grab um, I'm going to grab this red bit of card just to sit under here there we go, that's a bit better. So you've got the three squares along the top here. The four outer squares, so one, two, three, and four. We're going to score from, so this is that first square, 
the bottom right hand side, put your stylus down, you're going to score out to the top left. And again, really work. I just realised I've just ruined a nice bit of red card underneath now with the score line. Never mind. So you can see that I've got a lot of pressure on that. You want to create that score line there on that top left hand square. Then go to the top right hand side and you're going to do exactly the same. Again, from the bottom left of that square up to the top right. And again, really ingrain that score line. You can see I'm really doing it quite a few times, so I really want to make sure I get a good impression. So again, you can see it there, okay? Then rotate the whole thing. Again, top left. So that top left square, the bottom right of the square, you're going to score out to the top left. Make sure, I think I was a bit wonky there, slipped. There we go. Like I said, acetate is a bit harder to work with, but you get really nice results, so it's quite a nice... Um, material to work with, especially sticking the card on the top. Okay, there we go. So now you can just about make it out. You've got your three, six, nine squares, and then the four outer, so the four cornered squares, you should have a score line going through. Okay, you kind of got a bit of a Union Jack flag kind of effect going on ish. Okay. So now that we've done that, you want to burnish it. Now what I would say first of all is, is pick it up and actually pinch it first and put it into place because although I've burnished it heavily, it's still hard to actually try it that way to get it where you need to fold it. There we go. So I always pinch it first and then when I'm happy, because if you fold it over itself, then you can make sure it's lined up as well with each end and all the score lines. Okay, so once that's all in place and I can grab my oh, grab my bone tool there and then just really work that score line. There we go. See now it stays, completely stays in place. But as soon as I pull that and kind of manipulate it back, it will you know kind of come out of its shape. So you do need to keep playing with it a bit. Then again, get the next one, just pinch it, making sure you've got it in place. And then again, like I'm doing, line up your sides so they're nice and straight and then you know you've got it where you need it. So just go around and just burnish all of those score lines. Okay, so you can see those now, they're all nicely burnished. Then with these ones here on the cornered squares, you want to fold, so kind of bring it up like that. Okay, and again, make sure you get the, the very kind of point and then just work it down to the inside there. Okay, so you can see what I've done. I've just burnished by pinching it together there. And then if you bring it, just like I do with the boxes, bring it over and you just want to make sure that this all lines up nicely here on the side. Okay, so once you're happy that that's all in place, then again, get your bone tool and just lie that all down and then you can pinch that corner as well you can see now it's all starting to come together okay so again just go around and just pinch all of those in okay do that. so there you have it so it is a bit little bit fiddly because it's obviously hard for you to see it here as well but if i bring that all together now you can see the box forming and these bits here with whatever you're putting in will just move to the side like so so it gives you a nice box so now you just need to decorate it. So with all those bits and pieces, so decide, you know, make sure you got it the right way up, depending on what you your pattern is. And you just want to go around and stick them all down on uh, each side. So I'll just show you this first one to start you off. Oh, this is when they all get stuck to me. Okay, gosh, where is it? I always find them stuck to my clothes. Okay, so, oh, there it is. There we go. So, again, if I keep this red behind me, because I think you can see it a bit better, you just want to make sure you get a nice, it should, you should leave you a nice little, like, one-eighth of an inch border on all four sides. So I'm trying to get the light so I can see that I'm doing it right as well. There we go. 
Okay, so go around and do that on all of the outsides. Okay, so I've done all of the outer ones. You can start to see the box much better now. And then what you want to do is do the same inside. Just lie it down and just spend some time and really making sure that you get them completely lined up because you don't want to see, you know, the other side of either one. So you need to make sure you get them exact. So there you go now. So you've got that on that side and it matches up nicely on that side as well. So again, just go around and put them all in the okay. middle. So now that's all done. So that will all come in together like so. Okay. So now we just need to finish our lid. I'm just going to get rid of all of these pieces before they stick everywhere. Okay. So we've got our lid here. Grab your scoreboard. I usually do all my scoring together, but I forgot to do the lid. Okay, so this is your 5 and 1 8 by 5 and 1 8. And all you want to do is score at half an inch, 1 inch, 4 and 1 8 of an inch, and 4 and 5 8 of an inch. So you should have half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. Okay, and then rotate, and again, half an inch, 1 inch, 4 and 1 8 of an inch, and 4 and 5 8 of an inch. Okay, so that's now what you should have, just that like grid effect. Get rid of your scoreboard and then just carefully go and burnish all of those score lines. So now all burnished, so just grab your scissors and just as I do all of my reinforced lids, you want to cut up those two there. So you've got that like, you see here, you've got that square, big square in the corner and then four little squares, just cut up each of those like so. So you're going past the first score line to that second score line. Then you want to cut out those end ones completely and just take a little wedge off the corner there. Then cut that one out and again take some little wedges off of those and off of that one. So you basically just formed a little tab. So again on that one there rotate it, cut that out completely, cut that one out and then just take little wedges off, like so. Okay, then rotate the whole thing so that's facing away from you. And again, cut down. So that's now what you should have, that shape there. And then just grab some tacky glue. Grab my one there. And I'm just going to put some glue on the tops of these little tabs like so, and then just bring it under, bring this other side down and just stick them together there so you're forming a nice little corner. Make sure you get a perfect right angle. Just hold it there for a few seconds, tacky glue is really quick. There we go, and then the next one. Okay, and again pop that one down so it goes under, and again stick it in place. Like so, and just repeat that on the other two okay, sides. So that's those corners all in place, and now you should have these larger tabs still hanging out. So again, you just want to fold it over a bit, put some glue inside, like so, and then fold it over, pop it on its side, grab your bone tool, and just rub it along there. So you're really burnishing that score line, and it's also spreading out all that glue, and it gives you a really nice finish there on your lid. So again, just bring the next one over, splodge a bit of glue there, you don't need loads because you do spread it out once you squash it all down. And again, pop it on its side until it's all nicely stuck down. Okay, and just repeat that again. Okay, so that's my lid now, nice little reinforced lid. So I'm just gonna grab my heart and I've got some foam tape here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of foam on the back there. And that's the end of that roll. Okay, so just sit that nicely in the centre of the lid. Okay. And then I'm going to get some of my glue again. Okay, so just I just need to put a little bit of glue just on the main actual love word of this because the end bits actually don't end up touching the, the heart, they kind of go off at the end. So 
a bit like so. There we go. Stick better in a minute, and then I've got one of these. Just sit that slightly at an angle. That's so cute. So pretty. And there you have it. So I have in here so these are almond um, Hershey kisses, and these are for my husband. So he, although he's very supportive, he doesn't really watch my videos. Um, not enough to sit there and actually listen to me and listen to me going on and watch a box being made. I don't, you know, expect him to. It's not his thing, so he won't see this. Um, so there you go. That's packed now of those for him, and then just bring it all together. Pop your lid on top. Oh, there we go. Isn't that cute? So you do need to kind of hold it there because otherwise it's quite. I think I've got a heavy thing in there, so. But I just, I really like it. I just think it's really different. It's going to look nice on the table. And it's just a little, a little treat, a little something for Valentine's Day. So there you have it. So there's my two um, little acetate explosion boxes. My last project. Hope you like it. Um, I'll link in all of last year's as well so you can see those. Um, but yeah, hit the like button if you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed this series. And um, please subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.